Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to FTP to your Xbox One or Series S or X, whatever you got. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on your computer or wherever you can download. Go to FileZilla and hit enter. Then go to download. Then right here, download FileZilla client. Then right here, FileZilla. Hit download. Wait for it to get done and close out of this. Click open file. Click yes. But I accept. Anyone for this computer? Yes. Next. Desktop icon, I turn that on so I know where it is. Hit next and then next and install. You don't have to worry about anything you don't want installed on your PC like other programs do. Now you can just go to finish and it'll start it or if this is unticked you can go to your desktop and double click it. It'll just say files little client. But I'm going to leave that ticked and hit finish. That way it'll pop up. Okay, it's right here. Alright, now this is what it looks like. All right, so this is how you FTP. Go back to your browser. That's that's part one. That's the PC side. Now on your Xbox, or for your Xbox, go to bit.ly slash XB1 Home 2 and hit enter. Then when you're on this page, go to apps. Go down to where it says Durango FTP. I gotta see which one's newer. March 10th. That one's newer. <laughs> it's been a while. Go to download. Oh, right click and then go to download. Okay. It's gonna be 7 megabytes. Open that up. Open that. You see how it has an APX file and dependencies? That's what we're gonna need. Don't worry about the certificate. That's for PC. Alright, so once you open that, Let's bring open a my file manager here. I'm gonna do this that way. Or you could right click the file and go to extract. It's the same way. And when you open that up, you'll see this stuff. Okay, go back to your PC once more and type in at the top 192 in other words, this IP right, hold up, you guys can't see, hold up, this IP right here, if you go to dev home, you see that bottom right IP address, that's local, so it's, I'm alright to share it, you can't hack me for a local IP address, see how it says 192.168.2.3 colon 11443 put that in your browser and you'll arrive at the same page that I'm at right here just go to advance and go to continue it's completely safe I don't know why Microsoft doesn't have a certificate or whatever to verify that it's legit um, if you can't get to this page uh, what you do on your Xbox one let me switch over make sure I cover everything uh, what you do yeah sorry just trying to figure it out as I go but anyways uh, go down here to remote access settings then enable uh, Xbox device and turn off all the passwords or anything like that if it's on and then go to your browser and that IP address should be uh, able to connect to. If not, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on because if you just got dev mode or anything like that, Wi-Fi is turned off, even if it's on retail. Anyways, that's out of the way. Once you're on this page, go to Add. Go to Choose File. Then go to Download Directory and find Durango. Install the APX bundle. Hit Next. Go to Choose File. Go to dependencies and click double click each one until you have all three there 
then hit start. Wait for it to get done. It's almost there. All right, once it's successfully registered, hit done. All right, now on the PC, you gotta switch. I gotta switch over to the Xbox. Okay, window. Go to the Xbox. Now that it's here. Now, if you try, go, if you go to launch home. Now go back to your dashboard here. All right, now go on your Xbox and go to Ingress FTP, and then go down to start. Then once that's running, you want to go on the uh, PC. So let me switch over. All right, open up FileZilla. Now you saw where the IP address was uh, on the Xbox One. Just type that in on FileZilla. The issue now is that I didn't see it. Hold up. Okay, 2.3. My bad. Then type in 2.3. Yours is going to be different, obviously. Okay, host is that. Username and password is not important. Hit 21. I don't think you have to, but I do all the time. And hit click connect. Go to OK. Now, if you want to FTP into RetroArch directory, go to local folder. And look for 1E4. That's RetroArch right here. Double click. Go to local state. Now this is where your RetroArch is. If it's not, if 1E4 does not exist, launch RetroArch first. Otherwise, it'll be non-existent. Make sure you do that so it can extract all the folders and files. Then you know, if you go to system, this is where your BIOS go, and so on and so forth. <laughs> you know, your cheats, your playlists, your your saves, your thumbnails, etc. It all goes in here. Now to FTP, I'm gonna just FTP something random, as it's at, just to show you guys. So, uh, like something like uh, I don't know, some, something random. I'll FTP this, and I'll right click and I'll hit upload, and that'll transfer down here. Just wait for it to get done. And there you go. It's now on my Xbox. That program. Of course, that's not even for the Xbox One, but I digress. <laughs> if you don't want it on there, just right click and go to delete. Go to yes. Remember, BIOS go under the system folder. So, And that should be it. And if you want any other files, you can just press Control A for all of them. Or whatever you want to do and just hit upload so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching it's been a while I'll see you guys next time in the next tutorial peace